you right there. I appreciate you. Welcome back. So sad. K -K -K. K -K -K. Young nigga, I got old cash spazzing on the ass. I got product on my whole ass. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. I already know how I be bringing y'all the best story times on YouTube with feelings, with tears, with happiness, with everything you guys enjoy when it comes to stories. If you love story time and you want to see the best, you want to have this ride with me, you want to come along the ride, hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can get notified every time I upload. Welcome to my channel. It's your host. It's your man, the number one C to the J to the C. I already know how I be straight from the 305 mile. Miami Dade County, living in Orlando, move out here for college, graduate college December 2018. Shout out to me and free all my niggas, though. And today's story time is gonna be a story basically me my friend called me. He was talking about and he wanted my advice. And I decided to share it with you guys to see what y'all perspective of it is and what y'all think like I should do. At the end of the story, I'll tell y'all like the advice I gave to him after he told me and basically what I thought about the matter. So let's let's get straight to it. No time to converse. Now I'm birthed from the old western, like wild earth. Y'all know my ways. Yeah, so basically my friend called me the other day. He tell me like, man, I'm in a situation. I need your advice. You know, from Miami, he, he called me. He always called me to see my perspective because he respect my perspective like that. Because people come to me like basically to see like my opinions and thoughts of things. And basically like um, he told me so basically here's what happened he had two friends at work because he worked for an insurance company so he basically do car insurance boats all those good things down in miami so he, he gets paid really well but basically um he got two he got a couple of friends at work and basically like two of his friends at work was he said um one day he got to work it was all good like everybody was laughing around, like happy to see each other then two of his friends at work was basically talking about another one of his friends. So the other friend that they was talking about, she wasn't here. So they was talking about her and two of her friends at work was talking about that other person. So he was overhearing the conversation and he didn't like what he was hearing. So basically like, um, he tried to change the subject many times. He told me, he said, well, I tried to change the subject. I was like, oh, like, let's talk about that. But they still kept on talking about that other friend that wasn't here. They was talking about her, all those things. So when he, he told me when he went to lunch break, he decided to text that friend. He told her what was going on, the two of them talking about him. So he basically snitched. But yeah, he basically told our friend. But then he was like, calm down about it. Don't say nothing. And remember, you didn't hear it from me. So when the other friend gets to work, he was like thinking to him, looking at her, wondering if she got, if he got, uh, if he, if, if she basically got her, his message. And then, um, later on, she, she comes to him. She said, you're a good friend, things like that. It's showing that she got the message. And then he saw his thoughts of the matter. He said that those two are my friends, but I ain't like the way they was talking about you. I just knew you had to know, but remember you didn't hear from me. She said, I'm so pissed off. He said, I know. But remember, you didn't hear from me and things like that. So as the day went by, she was pissed and things like that. And he went to her. And he told her, like, um, he told her, I know you mad, but like, you know, like if you tell, if you basically, cause one of the friends, like the two friends that I was talking about, about her, he told me, he said, like one of them drops her home. Like when he can basically like, cause they friends too, but one of them drops her home. So he drives her and basically like the fact that. Like you got game, uh, I, I, like he basically said, I understand where she was coming from. Like you're driving with somebody in the car, knowing someone told you that that person, someone else is talking about you. So like, how are you supposed to feel? Like you can't hold all the feeling looking at that person, the person trying to make conversation with you in the car, knowing someone told you that person was talking about you when you wasn't here. So the thing is like, when he told that friend that wasn't here, he told her like, Oh, like, I know you mad, but remember you ain't here for me. Cause if you say something, it's gonna seem like I'm a snitch, like, and I don't want that. And things like that. And being a snitch, like, where I'm from, it's like, it's different things about it. But he was like, I don't wanna be there with that. So, like, like, you ain't here for me. And then she said, Do you know how mad I am? He understood. He understood. He told me that she was mad. But he was telling her, like, I know you mad. Just find a way. Like, he said, We'll get through this. But at least you know, like, 
how I move, things like that. And it's different. You could treat different, but you never have to say like, he basically said like, have my back. All he wanted her to do is have his back in the matter. No matter how you feel like, I understand like, because look, once you on, once you unleash, once you unleash, like basically like, um, on him, you're basically jeopardizing the bond that him and him had. And even though like, he basically told me like, so they went home. So he, uh, she left with him. One of the people's like, and the other girl that I was talking about, like the, his other friend, she was still there and they went home. After he comes out of work, he told me she messages him and tells him she couldn't hold it in anymore. She unleashed on him in the car. And then she found, he said it was a misunderstanding and things like that, everything good. He basically messaged her like she ended up telling the guy that um, he told her what they was talking about while she wasn't here. So when you did that, look, and then she was basically, he, she basically, I was telling my friend, my, the friend, my friend was telling me like, she was messaging him, telling him it's, it, it, everything's good. Like I told him you know, like, why you have to tell me everything's good, but here's what she's not getting. I trusted you. Like as a friend, I told you no matter how mad you get for my sake, for my sake, don't say, just don't, don't put me like, don't say, I'll be like you, the situation you're putting me in, I don't want to be, but I just wanted you to know this information, but don't put me in that snitching in a uh, spot. Like don't put me in an awkward, hard situation. And then she messaged him and told him like, Oh, like everything's good. But here's what she's not getting though. Once you basically are laid with a snitch, like you're basically like that. The two friends that you had talking so calmly around you, they're going to look at you different now. That's what I told him. I told him like, they're going to look at you different. They're not going to want to talk to you or F with you because they know there's a snitcher among them. There's no, there's, they know there's someone that's staying, that's sitting next to them, ready to hear any conversation and go tell someone. That's the stigma he's going to be stuck with once you told. Once I, I said, once she told on you, it's not, she got her piece knowing like even though like you you got your piece knowing that the conversation that was going on between them it wasn't like what he thought what my friend thought you got your piece but you ruined his you ruined the the, the basically like the piece he could have had with those two because now those two when they're talking what do you think they're gonna be thinking that's what i told my friend like they're gonna be thinking you are a snitch we can't talk about certain subjects around him we know he's ready to go tell her anything if we talk about her. Who knows who else he could tell? We could be talking about someone else. And we and, and he like you're basically. It doesn't matter if you 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 feel like it was a one time thing. You're never gonna do that again. That's the labels you get once you went and told that friend. And all you wanted to do was look out for her. You wanted to look out for her, but look look what it ended up doing to you. It ended up being stiff. And it's like if you knew. She was gonna be that pissed and she was gonna tell because she found her piece. She found out that he was it wasn't what my friend thought. But at the end of the day, look what you did to him. You that's not that's what what what, what I told my friend she wasn't thinking about. It's not the fact that you found your piece, like, oh, it wasn't what you thought. It's the fact that now the the, the friend you told, it doesn't matter if he said, oh, oh, I'm cool with him, everything's cool. He'll say that it's word out of mouth, but in thought process, it's like, I'm sitting next to a guy who's ready to basically tell anyone anytime. I, I can't be comfortable with this guy. I can't be comfortable talking uh, uh, talking about anything around this guy. And what else do you think is gonna happen after that? That's what I said she don't didn't get when she went and do that. I told my friend, now, even though he said he's cool, it's not a big deal. He's going to go tell the other friends at work that they didn't know about this, what happened. He's going to tell them that you went and snitched on what they was talking about. And who knows? He could have told you what they was talking about, things like that. But he did kind of diss you in a, a little aspect, not as large as what my friend thought. But at the end of the day, he basically got his way and things like that. But at the end of the day, he's going back to work. And, but, and since he gets there before my friend, he's gonna tell the other peoples that were here, he snitched, here's what he did. He heard our conversation, he went to that other friend and he told her everything we were saying. And those two friends, how you think they gonna feel? Cause remember, this is before my friend gets to work. 
So when he gets to work, my friend tells me like the girl that sits next to him that always talks to him every day, greet him, and they and they after that, she haven't said a word to him since. And my, my friend told me this story on Friday, like Friday. He said she haven't told a, said a word to me since Monday. Tuesday went by, she didn't say a word to me. She came to work and she and you 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 could tell the off you could tell that one friend that drives the other friend to to work. I know y'all get confused, but keep up. The one friend that drives the other friend to work, you could tell he went and told those guys at work before the um, before my friend got to work. He snitched. He's a snitch. We can't talk. Uh, we can't like. That's the type of person he is. That girl that sits right next to my friend at work, that 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 was, that's friends with my friend, she doesn't talk to him. She haven't talked to him since Monday. Monday, not a word, not good morning, not hey, not what's up, like how they be talking. She haven't said a word to him since Monday. What do you think? What type of situation you think you put my friend in when that one friend you try to have her back, she puts you in that situation? Now she thought oh, everything's good, everything's all cool, but you, it, it, it just the now look what he is put in. You're basically saying. Everything is good. Now, I, I got a story to tell you. I'm going to tell you in the future how I became such a quiet person. Because growing up in Miami, in the hood, such as Tula, I learned at a young age what snitching could get you. Snitching means you got good ears. But once you do snitch, you can lose all sight. I want you all to think about that. Like, like, once snitching means you got good ears. But once you do snitch, you can lose all senses. Because like where I'm from, it's like, like, like the story I'm gonna tell y'all in the future is like how the guy, the people kept on saying, "Oh, it's cool that he stitched, it's no problem," but the way they move, you could tell they they ain't fuck with him the same way they used to. They didn't fuck like they didn't trust him in certain manners. They didn't do stuff they used to do comfortably around him like they used to anymore. All because he did that one snitch. Ain't come in the lightest snitch. It, could, it just takes one time, one time for you to snitch. And then those, that's why my mom told me at young age, it doesn't matter if you hear anything going on. And that's why I, I, I be sometimes forgetting it, but I remember now. My mom told me at a young age, because especially around where we grew up, it doesn't matter what you hear. It could be about your sister. It could be about your closest friends. You don't ever say a word. You don't ever say a word because, and remember, in this matter, my friend had two other two friends. He snitched on to have one friend back, and all he asked her was not to say anything because you saying something is gonna get you your peace. Because all the friend, like the friends, gonna explain his side, and you you might get your peace. But look what you look what you damage in the process. Because those two friends, like like I 100% told my friend. Those two friends you had that sitting next to you, they do not mess with you the same way anymore. It, it, it could be like, even if they, and they're not talking to him right now, the girl that sits next to him is not talking to him at all. She's ignoring him. She's even walking around. She rather walk around the room. They even like, like uh, acknowledge his presence. So that's what I'm saying. Like, like the fact, the fact is I'm saying like those two friends that sit next to you, bro. Even if y'all was talking, bro, they look in their back in the back of their head they looking at you as a snitch they're looking at you disgusted they're, they're smiling in your face it's like that fake smile and you never want that stigma you want a peaceful man you want just like the friend that wasn't here to know and no one ever knew you told that's all you wanted but that's what i'm saying open your mouth you never know who you're telling you could be telling someone that like they 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 basically like they they like they love you as a friend, but their emotions, their emotions wasn't ready, wasn't strong enough and ready enough to hear that and go in the car with that friend and not say a word. That was a thing. If you, I told my friend, if you knew that, but even if you didn't know, you just never snitch. It doesn't matter if you hear a friend being talked about, you just never snitch. Why? Because it's better that you know information and you know how they be talking about one of your friends. You could even tell a friend, move a, move a different way when you're around this person. You see, you didn't snitch. They said, why? I'm just saying move a different way. That's all I'm saying. 
but you never snitch. You never say a word. You never said, oh, this person say this about you. Oh, hey, this person. Because that's how all my, I see in prison, I see like, and where I grew up, like, I'm going to tell you how the story time feels like, it, it's, it, it's snitching. That's why I came such a quiet person. I never had to worry about that because I, I, I'm not someone that opens my mouth so much. And it's just that I told my friend, you fucked up because you had an other friend back, but she couldn't like, she got her piece because now she know that other friend, what he was talking about was he like what 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 you was what you what, 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 like you you was misinformed it was what you're talking about she got her piece because now it's like okay i'm cool with him now things like that but look what she did to you in the process and that's what she's not like because the other freak could say oh we are cool now it doesn't matter but what he thinking in the back of his head you got to think of these stuff that's what i'm saying your friend she got her piece but she wasn't thinking in the matter of fact like should i put him in that situation no matter how much i feel no matter how much i want to unleash on him my friend told me this and he just went all he asked of me is not to say anything and she couldn't do that so then he told me like how she felt about the friend that basically told like she basically said she snapped at him and then she found out like it wasn't what you was thinking but anyways like the man like i said the girl that sits next to him doesn't talk to him anymore they don't talk. He said it's been days. Monday was the last time they talked. And he told me a story on Friday. He said um, Tuesday passed. She didn't say a word to him. Wednesday passed. He said, and you think that friend that was in the car didn't go the next day at work and told those friends what you did? They all moving differently now. They're not going to have comfortable talks like they used to around you anymore. They looking at you in a disgusted manner. They have in the back of their head the different images of you because you opened your mouth. You couldn't keep it indoor interior. You had your friend back, but you were now you're a snitch. You opened your mouth and you went to tell a friend trust and she wouldn't open her mouth with that other friend. And she ended up snapping at him, find her peace, find out that that friend wasn't talking about the, in the matter that he was thinking. But at the end of the day, now the friend that said, oh, everything cool. It's not cool. In the back of his head, he see you as a snitch. He can't talk comfortably around you anymore. He now see what you do in the background. He see you snitching. And I told my friend, that girl that's not speaking to you anymore, that sits next to you, cause effect. The effect of you opening your mouth and stitching. The effect of that other friend basically by you stitching. The effect, cause and effect. And you know what advice I told him? I told him, there's nothing you could do with that matter. You could try to talk to them and be friendly with them. And it's obvious that they don't want to talk to you. Turn that situation awkward and then get ignored. Don't do that. Just don't say a word. Make them like when they're comfortable, like when she, the girl that sits next to you, comfortable enough to confront you about saying like, how could you go and basically like tell and, like, and then y'all talk about it. Then you can move on. But I'm saying like, until then, don't say a word. And then he said, how about the girl that basically like, uh, the, 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 his friend that, that basically like snapped at that boy and she found her piece. How, how about her? I said, I don't know, man. Because you trust, like you told her because you were trying to be a good friend. Then she went and found her piece, finding out that that friend wasn't talking about her in the manner that she was thinking, but she didn't see the damage she did to you. So I said, and after you told her, please, no matter how mad you get, don't say nothing. You told her that. You were like, for me, for me, don't say nothing. He said, okay. And then she got so emotional. Okay came. I can't. So now you just, you go back to just shutting your mouth and doing you. That's all you could do. Shutting your mouth and doing you. Because in the process, two of those friends, the girl that haven't been talking to you, she now told her boyfriend that you used to talk to comfortably. He haven't even said a word to you. That's how you know something is going on. Like she haven't said anything to you. Her boyfriend haven't said anything to you. And the other friend now, you can't even have a conversation, even though she told he told her everything's all good, because it's that awkwardness of knowing what you did. You get me? So it's it's the fact now you just gotta hold that label. Hold that label and hope that everything soon 
gets back to normal. But that other friend that that went to just, like I said, just stay you, be quiet, just go to work. Like I said, for now on, do your job, go home, and that's it. That's all you can do because it's like, what else can you do? That's all you can do because what else can you do? And that's why I told my friend, and I want to see like, what advice would you give my friend? I gave my advice. What y'all thoughts about it? What y'all thinking? And let me know in the comments below. And if you're not subscribed yet, so hit subscribe. And and thank you for effing with me, guys. Like, subscribe, comment. Y'all already know what it is. It's your man C to the J to the C. And I'm out. Be breezy.